What is up boys, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel today and I mean you guys are something a little bit different This is going to be my best trades of FIFA 15 I'm just going to go through and show you guys all my best trades from FIFA 15 so far And you guys will remember back in the day if you were on my channel uh, around 6,000 subscribers or earlier If you guys remember the trading to Team of the Year Ronaldo series, let me know in the comment section So basically guys what used to happen was I'd pick up silver, bronze in forms, any ones that came out in the new team of the week that were cheap. I would wait till they got price fixed on the market and sell them on. So I'm going to be going through all my different trades today, showing you guys some of the best ones. This is before price ranges, back when trading was just, you could make free coins basically, as you can see. So the first trade is going to be a McLean. No, uh, no good stats on him there, but you can see we sell him on for 64,000 coins. That's nearly a 40k profit on a player. That's ridiculous profit. And uh, this was just such a good method back in the day. Another example is this Brozek. We picked him up for like 20k. He's not a good player. Juan P, we picked him up for like 20k. Benegas, he, he was picked up for like 20. And then these are the big ones. Uh, you can see Quazish Vili. That's how you pronounce his name, I think. And then this one's just ridiculous. This guy we picked up for 40k. Sold him off for 207k. This isn't even the best deal yet. This isn't even the best deal. Uh, but if you guys would like to see my best ever trade in FIFA 15, let me know down in the comment section. I'll upload that for you guys tomorrow. You can see another example. Angson, we picked those up for like 15k each. Um, people just price fix them, but that's the, that's dumb. What the, what the hell is that? I picked him up for 8,000 coins. I picked him up for 8,000 coins. He's got 52 pace on the left mid, and I sold him for 223,000 coins of silver in form. So I was making like 500k to a million coins every episode, and if it wasn't for price ranges, we would have finished this series comfortably. Uh, comfortably. You can see Tonelli, this guy would be picked up for 8k at a time, very awful centre back, and we'd sell him off for 103k when he got price fixed. This guy's, this is ridiculous. Striker who's 69 rated, 63 pace, 76 dribbling, like he was absolutely shy, <laughs> let's, just, let's just say that. And... I picked him up for 80k, sold him on for like 130k at a time. I used to do this back in the day. Every new team of the week that came out, I'd just pick up all the cheap ones. So I'd pick up like, f say, 5 to 6. So I'd have a full club worth of silver and bronze in form so I didn't have any room left. And then once they got price fixed, you can see like that guy there, then I would sell them on. A lot of this is from my previous videos. That's why it says on the screen, remember to subscribe now. Uh, but do remember to subscribe if you guys are new. Um, but yeah, these were from my previous videos of trading to Team of the Year Ronaldo. Just crazy, crazy stuff. Um, and a lot of fun back in the day before price ranges. Like you guys used to th uh, say, or a lot of people say, uh, that it's like price ranges are a good thing. Maybe they are, but for me, I was making so many coins before price ranges. I didn't really uh, struggle buying plays. And you can see there was like 2 million transfers on the market or plays on the market at the time because so many more people used to play the game before price ranges and you can see just showing you guys an example again a right back that nobody really used just pick him up for like 8k wait till he gets price fixed at 100k or whatever i don't know why people fell for this and bought the players but they did and then i could just go ahead uh, undercut by quite a bit and sell mine on for like say i don't know 70k profit or more and you can see uh, some of the profits weren't as big, some of the profits were massive, it just depended on what time you chose to sell the play. You might choose, uh, sell him for 10k one day and then regret it because there would have been like price fixed at 100k the next day. Just ridiculous profit and so much fun to do at the start of this FIFA. Uh, so I thought you guys may have enjoyed this video. If you have and would like to see some more throwback videos where I show you guys some of my best deals on FIFA 15, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new. Lots of FIFA 16 stuff coming up soon, but that's all I've got and I'll see you guys next time.